back to school season right around the corner and that means yes those wonderful lists of school supplies the pencils crayons notebooks it can all add up but there are ways to save founder of a savingswow.com and deal pro at savings.com maria ramos is here this morning maria thanks for coming in thanks for having me okay so this can be daunting for any parent because let's be honest those school supply lists they can be long and it can get costly What's your advice for parents in terms of saving money when it comes to hitting up the stores for school supplies? Well, there are actually some really great tips and techniques that you can use to avoid spending too much. Because according to the National uh, Retail Federation, their estimate is that co um, combined back to school and college expenses this year will reach about $74.9 billion. Billion dollars. Yes. Unbelievable. With okay. The, with the average American family spending about $682.99. So how do we save? Okay, first thing is go through all of your things that you have in your house. Because I know for me, I have four kids at home, and they all came home with some unused supplies from last school year. Right. Plus, you may have racked up a few as you've shopped through the years. So first thing you want to do is take inventory of what you have, see what you can use, and then also some of the old things you can make new again by just decorating them with duct tape or washi tape. I like that yes. idea. Pretend they're new. Just trick the kids into thinking they're new, exactly, right? Exactly. How about using apps? We say there's an app for everything, but there truly is. There truly is. And my favorite right now is the free Favato app, simply because it does the work for me. Okay. So um, besides having some wonderful deals out there, there's also back to school deals in there. So for stores like Walmart, Target, and some of the office supply stores as well. And my favorite feature of the app, because if you're doing a lot of running around, and like I said, I have four kids, so I've got a lot to shop for. Yeah, no kidding. There's a search function on there. So if you click on the search function, you can type in crayons, it'll pop up all the sales on crayons, index cards, things like that. Oh, I like that. Super so you can easy. search for specific items yes. you need that may be still remaining on your list. Exactly. Let's talk about using social media. This could be a great idea for parents, correct? Yes. So using Facebook and Twitter, those types of things, mm -hmm. first of all, follow some retailers that you like on there because then you can be up to date on um, the, the sales that they have. Yeah, they'll tweet out, they'll post the be best deals. Exactly. But then you can also use hashtags. Use hashtags like coupon, deal, save, free, and you'll pop up with some of the wonderful deals that are out there. Oh, I like that idea. Anything free, really, I like that exactly. idea. Um, and you say shop early. It might be too late for this tip because for a lot of people, their kids are already going back to school. But for those who have kids maybe or who aren't going to school for a few weeks, get it done early. Get it done early. Right now is a hot time to yeah. get your back to school shopping done. Right. And also think about it this way too. If you shop for additional supplies, so in the middle of the year when they're running out of things, um, you will have extra supplies. And then also look for coupons on, on sites like savings.com because right now they have two of the only available Crayola coupons. You can also go on, on my site, asavingswow.com, and print those out as well. asavingswow.com, perfect. We've got it pulled up right now so our viewers can see your website. And uh, we'll have a link to that as well. Thank you so much, Maria, for coming in. Great Thank advice you. for parents. I know it's expensive to have kids, and especially when they go back to school. Yes. All right, stick around.